an American author whose reputation rests upon his verse and short stories written in black dialect. He was the first black writer in the United States to attempt to support himself by writing and one of the first to attain national prominence. Both of Dunbar's parents were former slaves. His father escaped to Canada and then returned to the U.S. to fight in the Civil War. Dunbar published his first volume of poetry, Oak and Ivy, 1893, at his own expense while working as an elevator operator and sold copies to his passengers to pay for the printing. His second volume, Majors and Minors, 1895, attracted the favorable notice of the novelist and critic William Dean Howells, who also introduced Dunbar's next book, Lyrics of Lowly Life, 1896, which contains some of the finest verses of the first two volumes. Dunbar's poems gained a large popular audience and he read to audiences in the United States and England. He was given a job in the reading room of the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C., 1897 to 98. In all, he published four collections of short stories and four novels before his early death. Writing for a largely white readership, Dunbar depicted the pre-Civil War South in pastoral, idyllic tones. Only in a few of his later stories did a suggestion of racial disquiet appear. His first three novels, including The Uncalled, 1898, which reflected his own spiritual problems, were about white characters. His last novel, sometimes considered his best, was The Sport of the Gods, 1902, concerning an uprooted black family in the urban north. Merriam-Webster's Encyclopedia of Literature.